I would highly suggest at least checking out this tab here for exclusives. Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo and today is December 14th and it looks like Samsung just updated the Galaxy Store this morning. I took a look over at the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I noticed that there was an update. Then I noticed Samsung released this video, this ad here on YouTube talking about all the rewards and benefits and all the games that they are featuring and suggesting. Then I took a look at the Galaxy S20 FE. This one also has that update. But then when I moved over to the Galaxy S20, I went inside the Galaxy store i didn't see an update sitting there so if you're looking for this brand's new update from samsung the version is 45227 now if you don't know for sure if you have that latest update because maybe you do have the option for automatically update the galaxy store and it ran it in the background and you didn't know if you are curious if you do have that latest version all you'd have to do is just go right over where you find your galaxy store simply press and hold hit on that little information button there and then you look at the version right over here so you can see here that this one's ending in that 21.6 so it's not the latest version of 22.7 so here we go we will update it over here on the galaxy s20 fe the size is a little bit above 27 megabytes and then it'll basically just kind of restart the application now this over here is just a screenshot from when i did update it this morning at eight o'clock just because in case if i didn't have another phone that had the update so it's a little above 27 megabytes so how about we go inside of the brand new galaxy store let's look around take a look just to see what is new what's changed or maybe you're really not familiar with the galaxy store and i know as of this morning there's a lot of reports of some outages for google for the play store youtube and a few other things as well so it doesn't hurt to have another store to download the exact same applications and a lot of times samsung has a lot of really cool exclusive deals and and, and stuff happening uh, you can also earn a lot of samsung rewards as well so even inside of promotions over here here you can see the different promotions of different applications or games that you might use or download in general. And then going up to the very top left hand side one more time let's take a fast look at the samsung rewards then we'll go through all the rest of the pages and categories but this is just showing off some of the rewards some of the things that you would not get from the play store so again these are the same applications more than likely you'll earn rewards when you download applications you play applications a lot of these applications and games have the end game purchases so if you're somebody who is planning on downloading this game anyways uh, you can take a look at it download it from here and if you do any of those in-game purchases a lot of times you're able to get rewards and stuff like that so for example here you can spin your way to samsung rewards when you make in-game purchases now the winning games for this wednesday uh, or i should say this month's right here for the wednesday lineup is gonna be lords mobile so if you plan on playing lords or if you do play lords uh gardenscapes and then as well as pokemon go so if you're looking to get more balls or incense or incubators or whatever you might as well just get something through here from the downloaded application from galaxy store and then there's just a bunch of whole you know other gamer perks so if you do uh, play forza street you can unlock the 2015 ford mustang gt with custom galaxy paint you can get the exclusive deal here then as you scroll through uh, you'll be able to take a look at all the rest of the game so really this is just a place that you're able to get rewards for something that you probably already do and if you don't get any of these in-game purchases maybe it's something to kind of incentivize you um, but now that we're inside of this menu here this is where you can scroll through a whole bunch of areas different categories for games then as well as the apps now inside of the apps this is where you find things for featured exclusive themes and watch so let's just move over into games really quick. Let's just take a fast look around. So this is just an ad. It's showing you some footage of a game that is an editor's choice. You're able to install it from right here. Here is the top rated games. Uh, so you can just take a look at all of these if you'd like to look for something brand new. Uh, you also have Epic Games. Here's new and updated games. So that's kind of why they're showing off Gardenscape. So it looks like they have, it's new and updated and, and Gardenscapes itself added some new cool things inside of there. Scrolling down, this is where you see Forza Street. And then here's all the different categories that you can also gander through. Oh yeah, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you guys appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on the latest updates, especially here with the Galaxy Store, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos so as example let's say that we take a look at that action adventure when you go inside of here uh, it's going to have an entire list that you're able to take a look at if you wanted to find something more specific to this category this is all the games for the top games then you have the top paid here is the top free then here's everything new so i mean you're going through a category through a category 
to another category. It's just so cool that you're able to just fully, you know, see all these different areas and, and ways of finding a brand new game. Best casual games, here is the spotlight game. So this is the games that they're playing. Uh, and then here is the best arcade game. So as you're going through, you're just able to, you know, scroll, you find all these different categories. And then through these categories, you can even find more categories. If you find role playing games and you wanted to expand it, instead of scrolling through that little tab, just tap the little arrow, and then this is where you're able to uh, scroll through and find a few more just on the list page. Then over here, you have top charts. So let's just go inside of top charts. So this is where you'd be able to find more uh, categories as well. So this is the most popular. Uh, and then here's the top grossing. Here's all the hot games, tags. And then this is where you can go through again some of those categories. Everything is tagged with a hashtag. So that is the whole gaming tab here. So many different areas and ways of finding different games. So if you go inside of Featured, again, uh, we already went through all of this or majority of all this. So you can just see that there's a lot going on here. And sometimes it's a little bit easier to discover new games through the Galaxy Store versus just the Play Store. Then underneath the apps, this is where you have the applications that are editor's choice. You can go through a lot of these really cool applications you're able to use. Here's the top game picks. So even though we're not inside games anymore, there is some games sitting right there. There are some that are uh, recommended and through the recommended, it'll go through some of the themes. So if it thinks that there's a theme that maybe it thinks I would like, uh, then I can go through there. Here's some of the trending up. Here's the top grossing applications. And then there, here are some of these apps exclusive only made for Samsung. So if you wanted to take a look at this entire list, um, and some of these are also on the Play Store in some other areas, but there are things a part of these applications that might not be a part of the full you know, the full running public application somewhere else. And there might be some rewards again inside of these applications, something that could be unlocked that might be a part of a premium version elsewhere. You're able to get that premium version right here, uh, again, just all for free and, and from Samsung. So here's the popular categories, travel, social media, a whole bunch of th stuff that you're able to take a look at. Lifestyle applications. So we took a look at a bunch of these. Then you can go inside of the exclusives. So these are, again, applications that's made for Samsung. Uh, then these are applications made by Samsung. If you want to take a look at any of these specific Samsung applications, sometimes you might not really know exactly uh, what applications are made by Samsung. And, and a lot of times you just want to know what they're coming out with. Uh, you just go through this little area here. These are a few that I'm going to take a look at. I think these are just some fonts that are new. So I'm going to play with these, download these, install these and, and play with them. So uh, that might even be a future video because a lot of people ask about Samsung Sans. Well, there it is. <laughs> uh, here's more edge panels. Here we go. So uh, this is a, an area that I'm going to take a look at. These are the exclusive applications made for Samsung by Samsung right in this whole area here. So this can be something personally that I'll be taking a look at here today. You also have all the different themes. So inside of these themes, you'll get something where it's changing your background, but then it's also going to change everything else on the way that it looks. So if you wanted to have a different lock screen or a home screen, so this is the lock screen here's the home screen you can see the icons change your dialer change if you're using Samsung messages it changes this is what it looks like here for your quick settings on the top so uh, your keyboard changes so if you wanted to change things up uh, without really fully customizing it yourself you can take a look at these pre-made ones here underneath the recommended themes you also have wallpapers here's the top fonts new fonts things like that and then you have a lot of things that's made for your watch so actually I had an email um, or, or maybe it was a Twitter message just the other day, someone asking me about different watch faces. He's bored of all the watch faces of, that's available with some other third party applications to take a look at. Well, here you go. Here's all the different watches you can take a look at. So maybe you're just taking a look at the watch faces in the, the Galaxy Wearable application itself. And you're not really looking at these ones here that you're also able to get more from. So there's a lot of stuff that's going on in this application here. Uh, if you guys haven't really played with it lately, you might as well take a look. There's a lot of new updates with it. And then if you do want to see any of the promotions or anything that you would want to take a look at right away you just want to hit on that little present button and then this is where you see all those promotions so you don't have to go to the very top left hand side and and scrolling all the way down so if you want to see what is new what's changed any of the coupons that you you have earned that you still need to use it's going to be right up there inside of your coupons and that's pretty much it that i wanted to show for today's video it's just a really cool way to discover new applications discover new games you can go through it through all these different areas of categories there's so many different ways to find something and for applications 
options, I would highly suggest at least checking out this tab here for exclusives uh, and then going through some of these. So I'm gonna download Samsung Sans right here just to play with it later on today. And you know what, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna download Rosemary and I'm also gonna download Cool Jazz, just really quick just to see what they all look like. Right now I just went through the display settings to turn on the Samsung Sans. So when you take a look at the very top up over here, you can see that my, my font did change. So I'm gonna go right up over here one more time, go inside of the settings. Your settings will change. When you go inside of an application, it'll also change there. So if you use Yahoo Sports, if you go to Google search bar, all of your font will change there as well. Just go inside of display, font size and style. You can see that I just switched to this. I almost was gonna end the video, but I wanted to go through. So here is Rosemary. If you wanna see what Rosemary looks like. So you can see it there in the clock. You can see it there in the very top. You can also see it there with all the different applications and folder names. So let's go back inside settings. Let's go back inside a display, uh, font size style, font size. Cool Jazz is the other one. And I always like turning on that bold font. It makes it a little bit easier to read, especially when you are using dark mode with the lighter text on top. Sometimes it is usually easier to keep it on light mode where you have the black text. Um, but again, I'm more of a, a, uh, a dark mode type user. So you can see this is where you can change all that. So we're gonna go right on back. Uh, last thing, um, display, where's display? And then font size to uh, style, there we go. Samsung Sans, there we go, boom. And that is it. But hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.